let's talk about the Cisco ASA and ICMP traffic. How the firewall handles ICMP traffic can seem a bit confusing. In this video I will explain how it works. We will use this scenario where we have a firewall with an outside interface and an inside interface and a host on each side. First of all, traffic to the firewall can not be blocked by access lists on the interface. That means that you from host A can ping the outside interface no matter if you deny all ICMP traffic on the access list on the outside and so on. You do not have to open on the access list to allow traffic to the firewall. However, there is a global configuration command ICMP which can be used to deny or permit ICMP traffic to the firewall. You can use either permit or deny and you can specify source addresses and you can so specify interfaces and you can also specify which type of ICMP traffic you want to deny or permit. You can see these commands as an access list that is global in the firewall that only applies to ICMP traffic and only applies to traffic to the box. Normally, you can only ping the closest interface, the nearest interface from the source. That means that host A can only ping the outside interface, not the inside. And host B can ping the inside interface IP address and not the outside. And in order to change that, you need to create some really weird NAT statements in the firewall. So normally, forget about that and only access the nearest interface from the source. Traffic from the firewall cannot be blocked by access list. If you for any reason add outbound access lists on the interfaces, the same as tr for traffic to the firewall applies here, that you do not have to open traffic outbound from the firewall to allow I outbound ICMP traffic that comes from the firewall. So normally you can ping anything from the firewall and by default, the firewall uses the closest interface as the source by default. That means that if you're from the firewall ping host A, it will use the outside interface as a source address. And you can change that default behavior by specifying the source on the command line for the ping command in the firewall. Important to remember that NAT is never applied to traffic that is going out from the firewall. That means that if you ping A and specify inside as a host, uh, internal inside IP address as, uh, as a source, and if that is a private IP address, you will send out a ping sourced from a private IP address, and the reply will probably never come back. Traffic through the firewall is handled like all other transit traffic. That means that you need to open in the access list to allow the transit ICMP. If you ping from B on the inside to A on the outside and you have an inside access list inbound on the inside, you need to open for ICMP traffic in the inside ACL. By default, the firewall does not handle ICMP traffic stateful. That means that if you open for ping on the inside from B to A, you need to open for echo replies in the other direction. And it's a good idea to add the command fix up protocol ICMP in the configuration, which will add inspect ICMP in the policy map. So I recommend that you always add fix up protocol ICMP to do that. So to conclude this, traffic to the firewall is normally allowed and traffic from the firewall is normally allowed and cannot easily be blocked and traffic through the firewall when it comes to ismp is the same as tcp or udp traffic except for that by default it is not handled stateful and if you add fix up protocol icmp and you want to ping from b to a you allow outbound icmp in the inside access list and the return traffic from A to B will automatically be uh, allowed no matter of the outside access list because the firewall is stateful. This was short about ICMP traffic in the firewall. Thanks for watching. Please visit my website netzero.net for more videos and information about network security.